Uh, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and I'm right here in Flower Mound, Texas at our new facility. And uh, it is Friday the 13th and things are happening and I'm excited. So I figure, you know what? Let's just keep up with the updates so you guys can follow along on this incredible journey. And a lot of you guys are like building shops out there and have dreams and aspirations to do your own thing one day or to help build shops for your employer. So this is just great education because I'm gonna take you step by step every week and show you the progress, the hows and whys of why we're doing certain things. And as a young machinist, that's what I needed to do. I needed to have the experience to see the process throughout. And the more times that I saw it, the more times I just understood it and knew how to actually implement it myself, all right? So let's go in the building and I'll show you some new things, all right? Let's go. Awesome, awesome. So first thing that I see is, uh, see that wall and see those doors? We had showed you the doors in the wall before, but it's the, on the other side, this is a new wall right here. This wall was not here a week ago. So these are actually new walls right here. So when I was here before, this wall was not here. The one behind it was, and now, you have two bathrooms, you have a lunch area, coffee area, and then you have a hallway right there. And right here is a beautiful conference room. All right, now you can see all the duct work for the HVAC, boom, all up here. And if you remember, I explained that the ceilings are gonna be incredibly high right up into that line right there. Boom, right there. So at that point, the drop ceiling is gonna come. And the reason we dropped it to that point was so that the, the duct work could be above the drop ceiling and then the air would just shoot down. It doesn't look that big right here, but it actually is very roomy. And we're gonna have tables. We call it the mega desk. It's almost like a table this way, two tables this way, table this way, two tables. And then we're gonna have editors sit, sit, set collaboration area right here and it's gonna be awesome this is going into the lunch room it's like where you know there's gonna be you know microwave coffee and all that it's not a huge room but a few people could actually sit in there but we're gonna have a lounge area out there closer to the windows where people can actually sit there and eat or in a bench outside but check this out first thing I'm gonna look at is look at all the duct work this this was not here last week none of this was here and then now look at the floor all the plumbing so these are going to be four bathrooms right here boom like that so you have one bathroom here one bathroom there one bathroom here one bathroom here now let's actually look at the conference room so this Right here, you'll have big double doors and then you have glass and glass. So this will be all glass. And then you'll come into the conference room. Nice window right there. Boom. And then there'll be a wall and then that'll be inspection, quality control on that side, which is a nice big room double doors over there 12 foot ceilings in here and 12 foot ceilings in inspection when you come in you look it's actually pretty big i can walk over nice big conference room now from the conference room you'll have the door with glass and then glass on the side that'll be our first office and there'll be one more office so two offices and the rest is inspection you know one thing we can see is like this is a new building right so there's a lot of construction there's a lot of foundation work you know the the air ducts all of that 
you know, all the duct work, it all has to be put in right now, right? Because it's brand spanking new. Just a lot of time involved running electrical. Um, we're gonna be running the air. We're gonna be running all of it. And uh, it takes a little bit of time, but once once all the foundational pieces are set, right? The, the plumbing is set, then everything else will just come together quickly. Coming out to the shop right here. I'm just gonna back up. Oh, and there's the shop, how it looks today. Beautiful, beautiful. One thing that we can see now is last week I was talking about the power, right? We have 1600 amps. And uh, somebody mentioned why 208 because my machines are wired for 208. So no sense, change it up, right? So it's a new building. I could pretty much do what I wanted to do. So I just brought everything in at 208 and it works out perfect. 1600 amps, which is uh, good power. I only had a thousand amps at my uh, facility in California. So 600 additional amps because we're bringing in bigger machines and more machines and uh, going big in Texas, you know? Look at the power right there. You see these lines going through? All that pipe work, absolutely beautiful. Oh, going right inside. You know, you can see they had to bring they had to bring power from that side of the building, so you can see the pipes going all the way down. I got 400 amps right here, boom, and then on the back wall, I got three of them. So I got 400 amps. 400 amps right over there i got 400 amps also uh, the shop looks absolutely beautiful this is inspection right here phase two i'll have some more offices coming through here this facility is going to be completely temperature controlled so you can see these guys this is where the air is going to be coming down at an angle from all four sides all four sides big big units on the top temperature control boom it's lunch break this place was hustling and bustling and there was a bunch of people here and they all just left for lunch right there we have like a lounge area a lounge area right there where people can just look out employees can grab their food they can go sit out there boom just relax look out at the lake look at the golf course it's gonna be awesome. Remember in the last update, I was talking about the door being 12 feet and we cut it so it was 14 feet because we need to bring some beast machines in here to take CNC education to the highest level. In last week's update, I showed you how we were cutting the concrete, right? So now look at that, there's a door there and it's a beast 14 foot wide door. So beautiful, it's coming together. Oh, uh, so here is a outside look at this door. It's on a nice big ramp, a gradual ramp right there. So trucks can come right up inside. If you look over here, there's actually, you know, some size right there. So those are loading docks. And this is where we will bring in all the machines right through that door. Things are coming together right here in Flower Mound, Texas. Going big in Texas, baby. Boom. Now check this out. I was mentioning it before, but uh, I got some uh, beautiful leather couches, like lounge, like sectionals, crazy high end. Because we in California, we're doing this whole addition, spent a bunch of money. And then all of a sudden on May 12th, I woke up and the Lord just told me, Texas, and we switched everything because it's his plan, not mine. And uh, all of a sudden, we got a beautiful area for those couches that we bought. So we're gonna come down here, boom, come across here, boom. And uh, people can go grab their lunch. They can literally just sit here and lounge or they can, they can sit at a table and actually just look right out there at that beautiful view. Oh, I'm so excited for our employees because uh, we are a family, we are a team, we have amazing culture. Just to give you a little, you know, story, like I literally, I just moved my family out to Texas, right? A week ago. 
and uh, now Gina, the kids are in school. They love the school. The kids are so nice. My daughter is just like, I can't wait to go to school. Like she loves it. My son is in special needs and he's doing great. But um, I got them out first because I have to actually work on this building. Plus I got to do all my work in California. So I just been uh, going to California. I work a four day shift over there. Then I come over here, I work over here. So it all just works out. But uh, besides that, I actually have a whole bunch of employees. Each one is amazing. Each one is part of our, our family and they're selling their houses. They're moving out of apartments and purchasing or renting nice, beautiful houses here. Each one of them's in a process and a lot of questions have um, been asked, but we are helping each one individual with their needs to help get them over here to get trucks to pick up their stuff you know to to do all of it so it's it's not just me and my family and you know my sons and this building there is a whole bunch of people i just don't necessarily put the camera on them and their personal things but just so you know probably around 75 percent of all my employees are actually moving to this area they're upgrading their lives and i actually offered each one of them a raise to come to texas so they're getting california wages in a less expensive area that's an amazing thing and i'm super humbled any of my employees that are watching right now i love you guys this is a crazy journey i told you from the beginning we're gonna set a crazy vision we're gonna do something that's never been done before we're gonna build a company based on service and we're gonna go out and we're going to make something happen in a huge way we're gonna lift up the industry and at the same time we're gonna take care of your families and uh, it's gonna be amazing, amazing. And look at, we're in here in Texas, all right? I love you guys. And uh, to everyone, I love all you guys. I can't believe that uh, that's what we're doing now. We serve the industry, we get free education. I get to be in community with all of you guys. We share life together and uh, it's an incredible thing, all right? Crazy.